a nice wee image on spaceweather.com where they say that sometimes the best thing about a bright full moon is what goes on around it. And last night in Pennsylvania, Dave Mitski photographed this beautiful moon ring. The correct name is a lunar oreo and it is a cousin to the better known lunar corona. Oreos and coronas are caused by activity in the clouds. Light prisms bouncing about. 23 more Starlink satellites are now in Earth orbit following Monday evening's SpaceX launch from the Bandarburg Space Force Base. The Falcon 9 deployed 23 new Starlink satellites and this brings the total number of Starlinks launched this year to 276 and it's only February. Sky watchers may be able to observe the newest Starlink train as a string of bright lights in the night sky. These Starlink satellites are deorbiting at a rate of about 4 or 5 per day, re-entering at sporadic locations across the world. And this is releasing aluminium oxide into the atmosphere when the satellites are burning up. And this aluminium oxide is causing a hole in the ozone layer. It is eating away at the ozone layer. The increasing number of SpaceX's Starlink satellites re-entering Earth's atmosphere has raised environmental concerns, particularly regarding the release of aluminium oxides and their potential impact on the ozone layer. As of just now, the middle of February in 2025, SpaceX operates nearly 7,000 Starlink satellites, with plans to expand this number significantly. The company aims to refresh its satellite network approximately every five years. This leads to frequent deorbiting of older satellites. In January alone, over 120 Starlink satellites re-entered the atmosphere, averaging four or five every day. Upon re-entry, these satellites, primarily composed of aluminium, burn up and release aluminium oxide particles into the atmosphere. Studies estimate that a typical 250 kilogram satellite can produce approximately 30 kilograms of aluminium oxide during re-entry. These particles can persist in the atmosphere for decades, potentially catalyzing reactions that deplete the ozone layer. The environmental impact of these re-entries is becoming more significant. In 2022, the aluminium influx from re-entering satellites was estimated at around 17 metric tons, a 29.5% increase above natural levels. Projections suggest that with the planned expansion of mega constellations like Starlink, this could rise to over 360 metric tons of aluminium oxide compounds per year, leading to significant ozone depletion. And while the space industry currently contributes only about 0.1% to overall caused ozone layer damage, the rapid increase in satellite deployments and re-entries could exasperate this impact. Researchers caution that the accumulation of aluminium oxides in the atmosphere may have long-term environmental consequences, emphasising the need for further study and potential mitigation strategies.